255 here with up with up hawks started out and his background story saying that heroes were always on the other side of the television i thought of them as separate from reality so hawks thoughts as a child actually mirrors what people feel about the hero society after shigaraki's attack and all for one's prison break general society feels like hero society isn't real you see evidence of that via the all might statue with the sign that says i am not here we also saw toward the end of the episode that villains like stain and other villains in general and from the prison break are emboldened now to attack society and maybe stain is symbolic of the state that the heroes find themselves in now whereas before the heroes were the ones protecting society now it's the heroes who need the protecting. But then there is another side of hero society also represented by Hawk's thoughts when he was a child. When he said as a child that in that instant, fiction became reality. And Hawks was speaking about when Endeavor arrested his dad. So just like Hawks was waiting for an Endeavor to come save him by arresting his dad, or in his case, Hawks didn't even know Endeavor was coming to save him from his dad so many people now in the hero society are having the same experiences they are also being saved by heroes and are not knowing that they're going to be saved by the heroes thus granting them more love for the heroes so that would so that's so that's where the hero society is now it's split almost half and half but the hero's disapproval rating right now is high now the next subject i want to focus on is hawks and his backstory I think what we learned about Hawks in today's episode of Max Story is that Hawks is someone who was truly interested in doing the right thing. Even as a child, he told his mother, let's go to the police. And he even said that he endured his childhood because his parents were both broken people. Showing that great capacity of compassion that Hawks had even as a child towards his parents who were abusing and neglecting him. Now, when Hawks and his mother were on the run from the police because Endeavor had caught his father, the child Hawks says to his mother, let's go to the police. To which his mother replied, you are your father's son. Why were you even born? So he can see what kind of verbal and mental abuse he went through, as well as maybe why he's such a sober and serious character. Uh, Hawks has been through a lot. Also, I'm wondering... If Hawks is going to go through some type of character change like Endeavor is, Hawks calls twice a good guy and say he wanted to be like that. So in Hawks' eyes, being the number two hero isn't good enough. It seems that Hawks sees being a hero as being desperately good or good for the sake of good, so much so that even being the number two hero isn't enough. Or maybe Hawks might become a villain. I don't read the manga. I'm just speculating. But that scene sounded like he wanted to make some change. I'm also wondering if Hawks' mother gave him another quirk we don't know about. Kind of like Todoroki having the fire and ice quirks. I wonder if Hawks' mother quirk was passed to him. A quirk that appears to give extra vision. Or can maybe be morphed into something like an all-seeing eye. That type of quirk fixes personality good since Hawks is a information agent. Now the other topic I would like to focus on here is the heroes closing up their offices and leaving and retiring and just saying, nah, not doing this. It's, it's funny, but it's not funny. And a good example of that is hero number nine, Yorjo Musha, who talked about falling on his sword, which may or may not be true or was retiring because maybe they think it's dangerous it was mentioned during the episode that modern heroes with moderate popularity who were relying on their support from when they were younger were retiring and i think musha the samurai sword may have been one of those types of heroes i think what's being suggested here is that there is a winnowing out of heroes a separation of the weak from the tears. True heroes versus fake heroes. The heroes who really care about society like Hawks who seeks the desperate good or goodness for goodness sake versus maybe Samurai Sword, the number nine hero who may have been just doing it to have a day job. I don't know. I'm just speculating, mind you. I don't read the manga. So the next thing I would like to mention from the episode is that it is stated that everything on is on Endeavor's shoulders. And honestly, it's not. But it is since he's the number one hero. 
But think about what the author did. Talk about human characters. The number one hero is someone who appears to be a former child abuser. It does not get more human than that. Who is now having a mental and emotional breakdown. In counseling, we would just call that being sad. But the reason he's experiencing a strong range of emotions is because Endeavor the hero has died. That's where I see Endeavor's sadness coming from. A sadness that comes from Endeavor, the hero's reputation being dead, not his kids. He even said Endeavor, the hero, was dead. If that was not the author's intention, unfortunately, that's what I got out of it because Endeavor breaks out into tears when he realizes that. And maybe that's not for selfish purposes. Maybe he feels that way because of what happened to hero society. Or maybe he feels like everything he's worked for to be new, to be the new symbol of peace is gone. But me being honest, him not using words to admit his wrong abuse instead of his here reputation being lost was a bit off to me. And I know he mentioned his regret when he saw his family, but it's like you only come to tears now after you lose your hero reputation. No wonder his son was like, what are you crying for? All that being said, I like, the, I like that the author took this bold approach of making a redemption story for a character like Endeavor who appears to be a child abuser of sorts. Not condoning child abuse by any means, but I think that for broken people who have problems like this, a story about a hero who comes back for all of that can be inspiring to them. I mean, we all get inspired by some hero at some point. Anyway, kudos to the author. This is 255 out 1.